Tonight, we're learning more about a scary shark encounter from the weekend at Hope Sound Beach. Yeah, the victim, a 10 year old little girl named Jasmine from Palm City. Her adoptive grandmother tells WPTV News Channel 5's Ashley Glass a shark bit down on Jasmine's foot and leg Sunday afternoon. She ended up screaming to lifeguards for help in this case. Ashley joining us here in studio now with the rest of this story. Ashley, how's Jasmine tonight? Jasmine's okay. I'm so glad to tell you her family sent me this photo of Jasmine recovering in the hospital. That's where she will be for the next few days. They tell me she's been incredibly brave throughout this entire ordeal. And while we're talking about sharks, let's dive into some new research showing where sharks like to hang out and why. And it's not in places like the remote Hope Sound Beach. Claude Rue says there's only one thing he knows for sure about sharks. I know they don't mess with me. I won't mess with them. <laughs> we met Claude and his family on a South Florida beach and filled them in on more things. Neil Hammerschlag and his research team at the University of Miami just discovered. He says they set out thinking sharks stay away from big city shorelines, especially when there are a lot of people in the water. But that's not what we found. We are totally surprised to see that that the sharks we were tracking Three different species, the great hammerhead, the bull shark, and the nurse shark, did not avoid the urban areas, the, the, the areas closest to the metropolis of Miami. He says sharks might be attracted to garbage in the water near urban areas, thinking it's food. They also zero in on fishing piers and marinas for the bait. And when it rains, nutrients from land get pushed into the water. Nutrients can kind of fertilize the local uh, waters and create a mini food web that attract bigger fish and larger fish and then essentially the shark. What does this mean for people? And when we're at the beach, could we see it more shark encounters? So I think what this does, it tells us we just need to be a little more aware. On average, 70 people are bitten by sharks each year, totally unprovoked. That's globally and according to the International Shark Attack file. It's rare, and that's something shark diver Raina Onan wants people to realize. But if there is a shark within an eye shot, what do you do then? You pretty much stay calm, which I know is the exact opposite of what people want to do. But I tell people if you don't want to be treated like prey, don't act like prey. Prey runs and splashes at the surface. If you can just stay calm, most of the time a shark is just going to come and look at you. Humans are not a food source for sharks. They do not want to eat us. They do not want to bite us. More advice from Onan. Don't swim in the ocean when it's dark outside and easier for a shark to mistake a person for food. All of it advice Claude said he has no problem following. I know now where to stay away. But... <laughs> He'll be targeting yeah. where he's going to what right? beach yeah, We'll now. stay away too. That's, That's right. Half the battle. We did a lot of research this summer on sharks, their migration with Andrari Foundation, their West Palm Beach based. Uh, it's interesting because summertime we see a lot, but right now is actually a huge time for that migration. Yeah, great whites in particular. Just this morning on the Jupiter Locals Facebook page, there was a picture of a great white shark uh, that they posted, spotted this morning right off Peanut Island. So wow. this is the time of year. Wow. Pinging, how's, and so Jasmine's foot's going to be okay. She's, yeah. she's recovering. She's, she's doing great. Her grandmother's says when this is all said and done, she's fully recovered. She will have full use of her foot Fantastic. once again. So that's great news. Fantastic. Ashley Glass, thank you. You're welcome.